Hey, welcome to the workshop. So our subscriber, Danielle Lopez, asked if I would make a quick video testing the MAF sensor with the MixSig. This will also help you for trouble codes P0171, 172, 174, and 175. So here we go, quick look. Connected at the mass airflow sensor, signal wire. our BNC connector supplied by Mixig. Red wire is going to the signal. Black wire, just using a little connector for some extra length, is going to the battery ground. Hit our automotive presets. Go to actuators, or I'm sorry, we'll go to go to sensors. Airflow meter tells you please connect channel one with BNC banana, which we did. Hit OK. I already have the key turned forward. The ignition switch on and the engine not running key on engine off we should be about 400 millivolts let's go ahead and grab our cursor can find adjust up or down We're at 390 millivolts, so that checks out. Manufacturer wants us at 400 millivolts, 4.4 volts. We're gonna go ahead and start the engine. Car is already warmed up. I just turned it off. You want it warmed up to operate in temperature. And with it at idle, we wanna be between 900 millivolts and 1.2 volts. Go ahead and bring our cursor up. like we're just over a bolt. So remember, manufacturer wants us between 900 millivolts and 1.2 volts. Now we're going to bring the engine's RPM up to 2500. And we want to see somewhere between 1.5 volts to 1.9 volts. What did we get, guys? What we can do, since I didn't get to see it since I was in the car, we're going to pause it. And we're going to go back and look. Hmm. 
looks like we were right there. And we wanted between one and a half and 1.9. Looks like we we're at about 1.64. I'll have to go back and look on the record and just to see for sure. All right, run. Now we want to bring it up to about 4,000 RPMs. And we want to see approximately 0.9 to 1.2 volts to approximately 2.4 volts. check for the linear voltage when our engine was increased to 4,000 rpms about 4,000 rpms and we wanted one we wanted 0.9 volts to 1.2 volts to approximately 2.4 volts looks like we got up to about 2.36 volts we're looking good. Let's bring it down a little. 2.13. Right about there. Yeah. 1.9 volts. So we're good. So this is a good math sensor, which I knew already. I just wanted to make the video since our subscriber, Danielle Lopez, asked to do so. And remember guys, if you ever get diagnostic trouble codes for sensors, don't rule the sensor out before checking the powers, the grounds, and the signal wire.